Hey everyone, Morbtron here. Today we are doing the first exotic weapon review of Beyond Light, and it is on the No Time to Explain Exotic Kinetic Pulse Rifle. Now this is a pre-order exclusive currently, but don't worry your pretty little head. If you didn't pre-order it, just like Cold Heart all the way back in the original launch of Destiny 2, will be added into the regular exotic Engram loot pool. So after a while, the rest of you will be able to get your hands on it, and it is definitely definitely worth it once you do get your hands on it it is a fantastic pulse rifle even without the exotic perks and you throw in the exotic perks and it just makes the thing shine like it they actually cared about this weapon being good it is a full auto pulse rifle that has almost no recoil and very good range so they're automatically that is a very good weapon but throw in that once you hit a precision shot the bullets go back into the magazine so you can shoot them again and you get a stack of rewind again every time you hit a precision shot and at 10 stacks you get what i call a bullet buddy that basically is an arc soul except that shoots bullets that spawns to your left and just constantly shoots at stuff for you when you have the weapon out which is fantastic and hitting precision shots extends the duration of bullet buddy so that's pretty neat i also have the catalyst unlocked and completed which makes the bullet buddy shoot more frequently, just increasing its overall damage and its effectiveness. So overall, fantastic weapon. Now this thing does work in every part of the game. Crucible, Gambit, PvE, but it does shine the hardest in PvE land. So if we just hit our shots here, hit our crits, we will get a bullet buddy. And you'll see I have rewind again times seven flashing over there in the corner. Let's go over and say hello to these hive, and you can kind of see what bullet buddy will get going for you. So I've rewind again times nine. Where is another hive, dude? I need to shoot him in the head, skis. There we go. I have bullet buddy. And you can see there, he does a fair amount of damage. And if I hit some precision shots, you can see that it actually increases the duration of bullet buddy. So you can have him up non-stop. Now I'm going to run out of buff there, but I'm just kind of showing you what the weapon does before we hop into some crucible and i'll show you what it can do there now in gambit this thing also does very well uh because it's just a pulse rifle pulse rifles work everywhere in the game go figure it's a very well-rounded good all-around weapon and bullet buddy puts in some absolute work he's just just doing stuff on his own just mowing things down because he's bullet buddy and he is your pal but you need to feed Bullet Buddy with more precision shots. So hit your shots, keep your Bullet Buddy, and this weapon will carry you all the way to Victory Town. So let's hop into Crucible, and I can show you exactly how mean this weapon can be there as well. All right, so we're on the Fortress, which, uh, you know, is a thing. It's a map. It does stuff. Like, have terrain and all that. Oh, oh geez. Okay. Yep, got him. Got him. Double double down. Not bad. Uh, so this pulse rifle, inside a PvP environment, player versus heckin' player. I got melted. Um, it's a really, really good pulse rifle. Now, the legend, or the exotic perks, I should say, only come into effect when you're getting precision shots. So, you, you know, the rounds get re returned to the magazine... All that stuff, you can reshoot them. Infinite pew pews, it's all good and dandy. Uh, at 10 headshots, you get your little bullet buddy, your pew pew magoo friend. Uh, but until then, it's just a really good pulse rifle. But it is a very good pulse rifle. I would say it's an S tier pulse rifle, even without the exotic perks going off. Just like that right there. Granted, those people weren't looking at me, but now I have bullet buddy. And uh, I would really like to show off Bullet Buddy doing some work, but it doesn't really last that long in PvP because you got to find people. Well, there you kind of saw he was doing some stuff. I am very dead, though, because that's an Arbalist. But as you saw there, it was doing some work, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage in the PvP because then it would be overpowered for the PvP. And the only thing that's allowed to do that is stasis abilities. If you're not using a stasis ability, sorry, you can't be overpowered. Yep, okay, yep. Stasis ability, like I said. Just absolute ape town. Uh, but, uh, 
Yeah, oh jeez, that's a lot of... Yeah, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not get sniped. I'm not gonna get snipped, sniped. Silence on the squall, he generated an orb of power. I will... I will take those. Holy F, just die, please. Got him. There we go. That guy was trying to be a nimbly bimbly hunter, or warlock, I should say, but that failed him. I got rewind times five, but yeah, like I was saying now, this this pulse rifle, it's a it's a damn good pulse rifle, but until you get your bullet buddy, it doesn't really matter. Until you get your bullet buddy, it's just a good pulse rifle, but it is a damn good pulse rifle. So, that's kind of where I'm going to leave my opinion on this weapon. A crucible goes, even with the catalyst, yeah, the catalyst is really nice in PvE, in Gambit, uh, when the bullet buddy can actually do some real damage, some real hurt. But until then, it's just, you know, some chip damage that you're putting in onto some enemies for free that auto-shoots. Like there, that got me the kill. That was the difference in a uh, kill or not kind of situation there. But is it make or break in every situation? No. No, it is not. But it is hurt good. Got that guy. Got that guy. Oh, good boy. Are we gonna? No. I mean, he did do the big die, and I had a big part of that, but so did that, uh, so did the freeze grenade. So, yeah, I dig it. It's a good pulse rifle. It's a very good pulse rifle. That guy just totally ate my bullets, and I'm sure he's not going to want dessert. Uh, is there an enemy over there? No? Okay. Now, depending on the map, I would say it's more like... It's more of a PvE issue because there isn't a map in Crucible that's just solid white, but on Europa, the muzzle flash and, like, the magical time shenanigans going on in the end of the barrel can kind of get annoying. That's really about it. But uh, I'm going to leave the Crucible review of this weapon off here. I don't need this video to be artificially long or anything. Uh, but we popped off. We popped off with a weapon, and I've kind of showed its strengths, and it's... Well, there's its weakness, is not shooting first. But there you go. Um, the weapon is very good. Very good indeed. And uh, I dig it. I really dig it in PvE land especially, but in Crucible it does get the job done. Just not as well as some other stuff that has some exotic perks that I would rather be using. Uh, like, you know, Thorn, Ace of Spades is kind of my go-to right now. But uh, that's it. So I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you hit the like button, I would appreciate it. If you're new here, subscribe for more content. Watch me live on the Twitch. I totally stole that guy's kill. It was a good time. There we go. It's a, well, it's a win. It's a win as well. That was a, that was a weird win. I guess we'll see what I got. For elims, 26, 26 elims, not bad, not bad at all. Um, but yeah, now that is going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, like button. If you're new, subscribe. Watch me live on Twitch. Links are in the description for that stuff. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I will catch you all next time.